You talked a little bit about what you had seen and heard during the campaign, during your time working with, with then-candidate yeah. Trump, and you talked about how everyone knew that this money was going to Stormy Daniels' hush money payment. So when did you know about it? Well, let me talk uh, post-campaign, just as I said, to avoid violating the um, arbitration proceedings that I'm in. After the campaign, when these things came to light, uh, by that point we were in the White House, and. Um, they started to ask us, did you know, did you know? Certainly the people in the campaign were aware. Okay, did Ivanka Trump, for example, know? Did Jared Kushner know? Ivanka, I'm telling Do you Do you believe that they knew? Oh, I, I don't doubt that they knew because they were all in par a part of the cover-up to keep their president, their um, father from being exposed How? as the person who would go on and cheat on his wife just months after she had a baby, go on and get involved with a porn star as well as a playboy uh, playmate, and then try to cover up. But more importantly, wait a second, wait a second, this, let me just stop you there. What proof do you have of that? Do you have evidence that they were involved in some kind of cover up? Well, as I stated, the things in the campaign, I can't specifically I'm not asking about that. About. I'm just asking about what materials you may or may not have. Well, there's tons of materials that I'm sure the investigators already have, particularly the emails and the correspondence. Because you gave it to them? Be... Is that a How yes? Not being coy, you know I can't talk about the things from the campaign. So let me ask you So, so let's not go in so circles. Let me, let me let's have a good interview, but you know because of the what? arbitration from it's his legal interview. team. Uh, uh, let, let me, and, by the way, let me ask you, let so me ask you about drama. something else, though, here. Sure. Michael Cohen and Donald Trump. If you don't want to talk about what you knew or did not know about the hush money during the campaign, well, let me just ask this. And why bring it up on Harbaugh? Well, first of all, it was brought up in context. So to take it out of context and now say, why bring it up? I think it's um, unfair. Well, I just think if you're raising but or hinting something, when he asked me a question, I answered it very so directly. So I'll ask a question, if you can answer it directly. When Please. did you find out about the hush money payment? That's during the campaign, so I can't talk about but it. But did you know before the news broke after the campaign? Look at you. That's so cute. Let's talk about Michael well, Cohen, who I've had a relationship for about 11 years during the, the um, entire well, time that I was him. in. Why should he be credible? Well, he's credible because Donald Trump trusted him with his most intimate projects. He asked him to fix and sort out situations for him. It's really difficult for me to watch people try to demonize uh, Michael Cohen when he was just doing what he was told. In my book, Unhinged, I talk about specifically that Donald Trump directed Michael Cohen to pay pay that payment to Stormy Daniels. I said that, I wrote that months ago, and here we're seeing it come to fruition. But, but why would Michael Cohen then, given what you're talking about here, that you believe Michael Cohen is credible, why would I he do. take out a personal loan to help Donald Trump cover up these alleged affairs? What, what is it about that relationship? That he we, was so loyal to Donald Trump, and to see that tweet this morning from the president saying that he was a bad loyal, well, I, I think that that speaks more to Donald Trump than Michael Cohen, and I would push back on those assertions. Michael Cohen was effective at carrying out the things that Donald Donald Trump directed him and asked him to do. And I think that that's important to note, that Donald Trump went back to him again and again, not just the women you know, but women that you may not even know. Donald Trump should be very careful when it comes to Michael Cohen because he knows a great deal about all of the lascivious behavior that Donald Trump was invading. So you had been aware that Donald Trump was directing Cohen to make these payments. He was How did you go into aware? Well, first of all, I've been a part of the Trump world, right. world for 15 years. So was this through the grapevine? And Michael Cohen and, and I, I just want to answer the question. I'm this asking you to. Um, the first question you asked is, how would I know? I work with Michael Cohen in so many different roles. As you know, Donald Trump produced a reality show for me. You may not know that I also went to go at the direction of Donald Trump to work for AMI and David Pecker, who is also involved in this Stormy Daniels kind of deal. So I know a great deal about how Trump world works and how Donald Trump operates. When Donald Trump asked Michael Cohen to do something, for instance, in my case, work on a television show or work on getting me a deal in AMI, when Michael Cohen is directed to do that, he does it, and he does it well in terms of carrying those things out. What you're seeing unfold is America coming to know about the inner workings of Trump world, and that's what you're seeing with Michael Cohen. You said this is the beginning of the end of the Trump presidency. Coming from a former White House official, high-level official, mm -hmm. that is a serious statement. Yeah. What do you mean by that, and do you have proof to back it up? Well, the proof is in the indictments, in the guilty uh, findings of Manafort's case, but more importantly, under oath, Michael Cohen stated that he was directed by the President of the United States to make these illegal payments. This is the beginning of it. Now, I will say that we might be in the second quarter. You'll see so many other things unfold. But mark yesterday as an important moment in the Trump presidency. Have you talked with any, I'm not asking names, but any of your former colleagues inside the White House since this all went down over the last 24 hours? Yes. I talked to many of them, and they're very concerned about impeachment. They're worried about the future of the Trump presidency, and they're worried about their own preservation. 
Thank you. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Why don't you subscribe? It's really easy. Just click on that button down there. And for more news from MSNBC, click on any of these videos here for the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more videos from MSNBC with our newsletters. Head over to msnbc.com newsletters to sign up.